Hi all, this is Maria Clark and welcome to my studio. Today's project is this beautiful wine glass. The materials that we're going to use are of course this wine glass and I just picked that up at the Dollar Tree. Uh, my regular tools and a variety of colors of paint, rubbing alcohol, and I have this little um, shelf liner that will help me keep my uh, glass stabilized. The first thing I'm going to do in terms of preparation is to make a little template um, so that I can mark the four main points. I want to try to get an even, my first, I want to try to get my first row as even as possible. Because if that row is even, then all the rest of the rows I can follow through without measuring or trying to get some kind of grit on the glass. So I just traced the glass on a piece of paper and then kind of uh, folded it to sort of line up the, uh, the circle edges and um, fold that into four pieces. And then I'll use a pencil just to pull the marks out from those four points uh, so that I can see them when I place the glass on the piece of paper and get it centered again in the circle. And then uh, using the um, first tool um, that I'm going to use, which is my largest nail dotting, uh, dotting stylus, I'm gonna go ahead and mark those four points. One thing I, I want you to notice with your glass is, in this particular glass, there was quite a ridge where the bowl of the glass meets the stem. And so I had to kind of account for that because it was, it would make my, um, my dots a little bit wobbly, so I had to sort of move them down the uh, bowl of the glass just a little bit. But I'm moving it around and I'm using the largest uh, nail dotting uh, tool to place my four dots. I'll ultimately have, um, I think, 12 dots around here, around the first row, uh, but I want to get those four situated first. Okay, you can see that I've got my four dots and they're oriented on the, uh, on, the, on the glass. And now I'm going to go in and put two dots for a total of 12 on my first row. And this color that I'm using here is called Vivid Violet. Now I'm going in with, my, uh, with the G hook Uh, which is, um, it's G6, which is the four millimeter, and I'm placing two rows, still using that vivid violet. And of course, you know, you change the colors however you like. Um, you can also change the size of the dotting tools if you want to go a little bit smaller and tighter or a little bit larger. Now I'm using the red um, uh, crochet hook, which is the H8, H8, five millimeter, again with the vivid violet but you can see I'm starting to now expand uh, the size of the dots and expand the rows to fit around the bowl of the glass. I'm really thrilled with the way this project turned out. It's the first time I've used these gloss enamel paints and they were absolutely beautiful to work with. They are very glossy. Um, they've got a nice body to them. I didn't have to add anything to keep them from drooping down the, uh, down the bowl. Uh, so they were, they're just beautiful paints. Now I'm using the largest nail dotting stylus and the color uh, Purple Cow, and I'm just uh, using that nail uh, dotting stylus to walk the dots around the last row that I placed. And of course, you know this is speeded up. This is about um, five times um, the speed that I'm going at, um, just because of the increased speed of the video. But you'll walk I walk down one side and then I turn and walk down the other side. It's just easier for me. Helps me keep consistent sizing on my dots. And I'm also, you'll see, um, double dotting sort of that top middle uh, dot um, so that the paint drops and it, uh, the size of the dots remains fairly consistent. Now I'm going in again with the um, G6 four millimeter crochet hook and I'm placing three dots in a, a color called lavender. And just getting those dots all the way around. One of the things about that's really nice about this style of painting is 
you can make the design up as you go, which is what I did here. I didn't really plan this pattern out. Um, the only thing I knew is that I needed to get my first row really well um, lined up so that the rest of my rows would be um, nicely spaced. Otherwise, I'm just making the pattern up as I go. Now I'm using the um, the uh, K 10.5 crochet hook and it's 6.5 millimeters and I'm using a color called Calypso Blue to put that larger dot right there in, in between that previous row and I'm leaving a little bit of room so that I can walk those dots around. Now I'm going back in with the um, with the G crochet hook to put my center top my center dot uh, right above the last row and I'm using that purple cow color. There are um, not a whole lot of different sizes of hooks that I uh, tools dotting tools that I use in this particular pattern. Um, you can see that it's um, a really small number of tools and now I'm using my largest nail dotting stylus to walk those dots around. And in this particular case, I'm going to put a row of dots all the way around the um, that blue dot there, and then one side, go around one side, and then back around the other side. and finishing up that last bit of dotting. Now I'm taking the uh, Vivid Violet and using the um, the G6 4 millimeter crochet hook to put another dot right above that previous row center. And I'll actually end up having three rows here. So this is the Vivid Violet. Put the dot, center dot, and then use the largest nail dotting tool to go around that. Walk those dots around. I'll have uh, links to the products that I use, the tools that I have, and the colors that I used so that um, you can use those links if you need to or you can find most of these things in your local craft uh, and hobby stores. Um, so I hope you check those links out if you're interested. Uh, makes it really easy to shop that way. And go around the other side. Now um, again with the um, G6 4 millimeter crochet hook I'm going back in with that Calypso blue right in between the crown there. You can see the little crown. Uh, that's what I'm calling it anyway, Those the crown of dots there. And I noticed I did only put two rows of walking the dots and now I'm using my largest nail dotting stylus and the uh, lavender which is that darker purple and just putting a little arch right over that uh, blue dot. Back in with the G6 4 millimeter and using the purple cow placing a center dot and using my largest nail dotting stylus I'll start to connect that row to the previous row and then one side and around the other side. Using the G6 4 millimeter, sticking with that size, I'm using the Vivid Violet to put another center dot, larger center dot, and then I'll start to walk the dots. And one thing I wanted to mention about these glasses, this uh, glass I just got at the Dollar Tree, the dollar store. Um, but I did I want to give you a little tip about that. I don't know if you shop at the dollar store often. I, of course, love it, so I'm there all the time. But I did notice that um, when I first went in, I only bought one of these glasses thinking I, I wanted to try it out and then see how it would work. And it worked great, and I went back to get more, and they didn't have this exactly the same sizes. So my tip is to buy the number of glasses that you think you're going to want when you go in the first time so that you're sure to have them for your set. And then I'll just finish that particular row. See how pretty that's starting to look on the, on the inside. It's beautiful inside as well as the outside. Going back in with the Calypso Blue and that... Um, that uh, G6 4 millimeter crochet hook to put another large dot in the center and then I'll walk those around. 
This gloss enamel paint, I told you how much I just love this paint. It's really it's just such a beautiful, beautiful finish, uh, really glossy, um, right as you put the paint on. In order to um, finish it, you do need to let this cure, let this paint dry for four days, and then put it in an oven, um, cold oven, bring it up to a temperature of 350 degrees, um, or 325 rather, and then let it bake for 30 minutes and then open the door and let it cool down until it's completely cool. Now I did that um, and then it's supposed to be dishwasher safe and I gotta tell you it worked beautifully. I have put it through the dishwasher and that um, th that paint seems to be really well adhered. I tried to scratch it off and I couldn't get it off. Here I'd made a little mistake and of course I just used the Q-tip um, while it's wet to go in and sort of roll that paint off and then wipe the rest of it away and I can paint over it once that glass is dry. You also, I don't think I said this at the beginning, but you need to clean the glass really well with alcohol before you start painting and let that alcohol dry so that you have a really nice oil-free finish uh, on your glass before you start painting. So I put a row of um, uh, the color Purple Cow um, with the um, K10.5 6.5 millimeter crochet hook and then I used my uh, G6 4 millimeter to put those three top dots and then use my largest nail uh, dotting stylus to walk it around and now I'm just putting one little extra finishing dot at the top and that finishes the main base layer uh, of dots that I'm going to put down. See how pretty that is? I just think it's gorgeous. Um, I'm putting, actually I had decided I, I was going to have that be my finishing touch but of course I couldn't stop. So I have a festive green color and I thought it needed, because this is sort of a spring look, I thought it needed just a little bit of green. Uh, you can do this or not, you know, as your, as your choice. Um, but I went ahead and just dropped a little bit of green on a few of those rows in between the previous dots because I had quite a bit of space there so I was trying to fill it in just a little bit and you can see that I don't put a whole lot of this green in I'm just trying to accent and highlight a little bit um, some of the design here so I'll drop in a little bit of that green on the first few rows I always paint and then do a voiceover on these videos because I, um, I'm i concentrating so much I forget to talk and I forget to tell you what's going on so I go back usually go back in and I uh, just do the voiceover so just a few more green dots to accent various places where I thought it needed just a little bit of uh, filling in and I'm using the smaller end of my uh, largest nail dotter and then go in and put a few more at the top there Okay, and that finishes the first layer. Now I'm doing the bottom, the base, and I will go around um, and put 12 dots using the, um, the K10.5 6.5 millimeter crochet hook. And um, then using the uh, G6 4 millimeter, I'll put the three dots, just, just uh, emulating the pattern from above and then I will use my largest nail, uh, nail dotter to walk those dots around And then I'll use my G6 again, the four millimeter and that Calypso blue and drop a little bit of glue, or blue, <laughs> a little bit of glue, a little bit of blue in between that previous design element there. And using my, uh, my nail dotter again, I'm using the lavender, that's that darker purple, and walking those dots around.
that little piece of um, shelf liner is really a lifesaver because it's a little bit sticky so it really keeps the glass from sliding. I'm usually working on a ceramic tile uh, so it, the glass can slide a little bit. I'm either working on glass or a tile so I really like having that little bit of um, extra grip there. And then I'm using the festive green to just go in and accent like I did up above and I've put one row of green down and I'll put another row of green on using a little the slightly smaller uh, dotting tool. Now I had let that dry um, to the touch basically and I'm going in now and I'm putting some top dots on. I'm not going to do uh, show you all of the top dots but you can see that I put a good number of them on um, and I actually went in um, some of these design pieces actually have three dots on them. You can see a darker, a lighter, and then a darker again. And this is how the finished top dots look um, on the bowl of the glass and then at the base. Isn't that pretty? I just think it's gorgeous. And here's how it looks from the top. It's just a beautiful mandala look. It's so beautiful. I just love looking at it. Um, so it's really, it's really nice to kind of look in and then also uh, to just have the beautiful design on the outside of this. So I again was just thrilled and I'll be doing some more of these uh, glass painting ones. This is the first one I've done before. Um, and so I really, really like the way it turned out and I hope you do too. Here's a, um, a shot of the finished piece. Here's a close-up of that, how that base looks. And then uh, here's another shot of the internal piece. I want to thank you for joining me in my studio for this project. I hope you loved it. Thanks so much for joining. I appreciate you. Take care.